Age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, is a gradual blinding condition that affects your ability to do everyday activities. Reading a good book or seeing your loved one's faces are things most of us take for granted, but are affected when you have AMD. So whether you're young or old, have AMD, or want to prevent it, stick around to learn about the two types of macular degeneration and some tips to improve your eye health. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Experience Life Through Fused Lenses YouTube channel. I'm Zach, and this is the destination on YouTube to stay updated on eye health, sun protection, and all things sunglasses. We're optical and sunglass experts, so we want to help you keep your eyes healthy for as long as possible. Now let's jump into the two types of AMD, their causes, and some ways to help the symptoms. So let's quickly define what age-related macular degeneration is. The first part, age-related, comes from the fact that AMD develops after the age of 50. Each year after that, your risk of getting it increases. Second, the macula, which is where we get macular, is the part in the back of the eye that controls your central vision field. It helps with seeing small details and focusing on things like faces, words, and roads. And then degeneration means that the macula deteriorates over time. But there's two types of AMD and some pretty big differences between them. The more common form, called dry macular degeneration, affects about 85% of people with AMD. It develops gradually over a long period of time, and the changes aren't always noticeable until it's too late to do anything about it. More on that in a minute. Wet AMD is a lot more rare and comes on pretty suddenly. It takes less time to progress than dry AMD, so it can be treated very early on. Basically, in wet AMD, blood vessels from the back of the eye socket actually start growing into the retinal walls. A fluid leaks from the vessels and into the eye, which is why it's called wet. Oh, and before we move on, I wanted to let you know that we post new videos all the time about eye health. So make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can catch all of our future videos on topics like this. So now that we know about the two types of macular degeneration, what are some of the symptoms? Dry AMD has more subtle symptoms that come on gradually over the course of several years, like I mentioned before. The first issue you'll probably notice is a change in your night vision, aka being unable to see in low light. A protein starts slowly building up behind the eye and the tissue of brain begins to atrophy or break down. Vision becomes blurrier and blurrier over time until details start to become unclear. Wet AMD though has more severe symptoms than dry AMD with a very sudden onset. Vision becomes warped so straight and flat surfaces may look wavy or skewed. You also developed a noticeable blind spot in the middle of your eye or eyes. Once you've noticed your symptoms, you have to get to the eye clinic ASAP. When you get evaluated and treated by an ophthalmologist in the early phases of AMD, your outcome improves significantly. I'll talk about treatment and symptom relieving options in a second. When it comes to the root of the disease, macular degeneration can be caused by a lot of unknown variables. But the two known causes are family history and lifestyle. So people who have family members with AMD are more likely to develop it. And folks who have a history of being overweight, having high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or being smokers are at a way greater risk than any healthy non-smokers. So how can AMD be treated? Right now, medical treatments are pretty limited. For wet AMD, there's an injection of medication into the back of the eye that can reverse the fluid buildup. For dry AMD, unfortunately, no known cure exists. However, it is easy to slow down the progression if you notice it early on. There are things you can do to ease the symptoms and help slow down both types of the disease. The first thing to do if your concern is prevention is finding out if macular degeneration runs in your family. If it does, it's especially important to follow these tips as early on as possible. Eating a healthy diet that's high in omega fatty three acids and leafy greens and low in both fat and processed food is crucial. Even if you don't know if anyone in your family was diagnosed with it, you can still lower the risk of developing AMD by eating healthy and regularly taking supplements like multivitamins and fish oil. This and exercising regularly also have a positive correlation with better overall eye health. Fun fact, if you've ever heard that eating carrots leads to better eyesight, that's actually a myth. Even though carrots have multivitamins and minerals that are good for your body, the eye health claim was British military propaganda during World War II. It was an attempt to trick German tacticians into thinking that the British Air Force bombers could see targets at nighttime because they ate a lot of carrots. In reality though, they were seeing the targets by using special radar technology that they didn't want revealed to the Germans, so they came up with that lie to throw them off. Anyway, when it comes to actual proven habits that affect eye health, the American Medical Association actually found a major link between macular degeneration and smoking. So if you're a smoker, it turns out you're four times more likely to develop the disease and eventually lose your eyesight. But people who quit smoking are less likely to develop it and they tend to have better outcomes during wet AMD treatments. 
We've all been told at some point or another that staring at the sun can permanently damage your vision. Okay, so it's not an old wives tale. There's truth to it. When you have AMD or are trying to prevent it, it's really important to shield your vision from ultraviolet light as much as possible. Wearing sunglasses, a hat, or visor prevents eye damage to the sun's UV rays. Even on overcast days, sunglasses are really important because the rays can still penetrate your cornea through the clouds. You can check out our video on the best sun protection for your body and eyes. We explain some proven methods for protecting those peepers and the best sunglasses for your needs so you don't have to cause any long-term damage. Like all the videos I'll mention, it's linked in the description below. Another harmful light ray you want to protect your eyes from is something called blue light a short wavelength of light that we're exposed to most from our electronic devices. We actually have a video on our channel explaining the phenomenon of computer vision syndrome or digital eye strain from blue light and how it can affect your vision if you're interested in learning more. But well, that kind of eye strain is exactly why there's an invention called blue light glasses. They're basically just yellow tinted lenses that filter those light waves out so you can lower your exposure and eye strain. At Fuse Lenses, we offer customizable sunglasses and blue light lenses made to fit over 4,000 styles of brand name glasses and sunglass frames. If you don't see your brand on our website, we also make custom lenses cut specifically to your unique frame shape. We also have our own line of affordable, high quality shades and glasses and have 20 plus lens color and mirror coating options, polarization, blue light, transitions, and even prescription. That way, you can protect your eyes to prevent AMD and do it in style. You can learn more about how Fuse works by checking out our video on our replacement lens system. Remember, all those videos are in the description. And you can order your own customized lenses on our site, fuselenses.com YouTube. So whether you want to slow down AMD or just prevent it from happening in your future, then sunglasses, blue light glasses, and all of the other tips I talked about today are probably right for you. If you learned something new about macular degeneration, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for videos on vision, sun protection, and all things sunglasses. We'll see you in the next one, and thanks so much for watching.